Hi students, how are you? Are you good and fit and fine? This is your teacher friend, Purushottam Adhikari. Welcome to my third class, which is virtual conduct by Nisgat Municipality. Students, last time I taught you about travel. Isn't it? And what we are going to read today? Do you know that? Yes, today we are going to read our unit 2. What is there in unit 2? Could you guess it please? Anyways, I will write whatever there, okay? CLASS class 8 unit 1 our title is title is TITLE title is and EX PE DI TI OEN and expedition okay last time there was a top topics and title named traveler the traveler and this expeditions are almost same there is a bit difference okay traveler in that story uh, the writer and her family went to visit Galegaon Okay, but it was not project work of his students. Here, in these chapters, some students of the school is planning to visit the specific place of Kathmandu Valley named Godabari. So, they are going to research and find out the importance of Godavari. This is called an expedition. Expedition means the work that we do in a group, the job and assignments and homework that is done in a group by the students. Okay, so before explaining about that, let me give you the meaning of expedition as I told you before it's difficult to pronounce the word spell the word and write the word and memorize the word this is because I am just teaching you a different way to know the words to memorize the words and to spell the words in your one way which is very general okay just divide this word e x p e e x p e d i t i o n expedition one two three four categorize these words divide these words into four groups okay e x P E D I T I O N expedition. 
decent because this way helps you to memorize the letters of the words which are found in your English book. Understood? Now let me tell you what is the meaning of expedition. Can you guess it please? See, expedition means, I already told you, the job that I do in the group, the homework that I do in the group, and the assignments that I do in the group. Sometimes your teacher provides you project to work in the school. If I take you to the picnic programs in a specific place and if I suggest you to write the project work and uh, story about that that will be the project work that will be the assignments for the students by the given by the teachers so now let me write here the meaning of expedition is work or tax which is done which is sorry D O N E Don in a G R O U P group and H O M E W O R K homework okay E S S I G N M E N T assignment A S S I G N M E N T assignments these are the two words which are similar to this words name expectation are you clear now okay students now you can look at your book there is a picture see here there is a picture yes there is a picture this picture is uh, uh, this picture is belongs to Nilu okay this is a picture of Nilu now there is something written in a number engage yourself now you need to engage each other now you are alone at your homes it's not possible right but you can do your one study yourself whatever i see here as per the statements and the words delivered to you you just follow me okay that it will helps you to understand what the lesson is going to be what the lesson is going to feed you as a knowledge okay uh, number a is saying that look at the map below and look at the districts of the following place there are some places of nepal which is in the different districts okay number a there is a hilly b there is city uh, number C, there is a Namche. The, number D, there is Pashupatinagar. And number E, there is Fidin. Number F, there is Gorkhali Temple. Number G, Chadani and Dudara. Okay? See? Your units too, an expedition. This is a project work. The project work is uh, regarding about the important place and uh, map to go there. Okay, now I tell you something about Hilly. Okay, Hilly is a famous place. Just we need to mention the districts there. Okay, the the unit is saying us to mention the district over there before mentioning the districts let me explain about Hilly in very short form okay Hilly 
is a very popular place of our country, Nepal. It is located in eastern part of Nepal. It is in street number one. But where is Hile located? As a district. Hile is located in Dhankuta district of Nepal. Okay? Hile is very popular when we plan for visiting Darjeeling, Sikkim, Kalimpong. We go to visit Hile also because Hile is, you know, made of hills and tea gardens and greenery of the tea. It looks so beautiful and fantastic. So that most of the people, you know, our internal tourist goes to go to visit Hili. So Hili is famous for wonderful hills, natural beauties, tea gardens, and the better hospitality of tourists. Now you understand? Number two, that is Jiri. Okay, Hile. This is the name of place in D I S T R I C T district. Okay, now we need to just mention the name of the places given in the book and we need to mention the districts where it is located. Okay, number one, Hili. This popular place is located in the D-H-A-N-K-U-T-A Dhankuta districts. Understood? Number two, there is Jiri. J-I-R-I Jiri. Okay. Jiri, when I heard this name, I feel so proud. I feel so happy and wonder because I have visited Hile, sorry, Jiri before 10 years ago with my friends named Mr. Ranjan Jiri. With the cooperation of Ranjan, I went there and saw the beauty of Jiri and got the hospitality of Ziril Society. Actually, Ziri is formed and uh, made of Ziril Society. So many clustered houses there and Ziril people are centralized in a specific place there. It looks like a small valley. And we can have a look of mountains from there and hills from there. Its climate is so beautiful, loving, cool, and wonderful. I really like the hospitality of Zirel Society. I was nicely served by them so that I still have memory of Ziri. It is located in the Dolaka districts. If you plan for visit Ziri, you have to go Kathmandu first. Then you can take the bus from Araniko bus park, bus station. Through Araniko bus station, you can go Ziri by crossing Mure, uh, Bhatikosi, Tamakosi. It's very, you know, you will get fantastic and memorable moments after visiting Ziri. Understood? So, I like Ziri very much. I write here, Ziri is located in uh, Dolaka. D-O-L-A-K-H-A Dolaka. Understood? Okay, now this is a uh, number one okay i write here s n s n okay mm, number one and number 
two. And number three, what is there? Namche, wow. It is one of the best tourist destination of our country, Nepal. When tourists, I mean the people who comes out from Nepal, I mean the uh, people who comes from other countries to, in order to visit our country, Nepal, being as a guest, Namche will be the first destination for them because Namche has attracted so many internal and external tourists because of its hospitality and home stay concept. If you plan for climbing the mountains, if you plan for visiting the mountain base, and if a tourist plan for the Mount Everest base and to climb the Mount Everest, they go there through the Namche Bazaar. And then this Namche Bazaar is for best to take rest. Okay, when we go for journey there in the mountain, then we can take a rest for a night and when we finish our journey from Mount Everest, then we can again take a rest in Amche Bazaar. It is very suitable for uh, sitting and uh, taking time and spending time with Namche Bazaar because the Thakali people, Gurung people, Limbu, you know, they are settled there and their hospitality, their culture, their costume, their tradition, values and norms are very lovely that attracts us to as well as our external tourists. Now you clear? And this Namji is located in N-A-M-C-H-E. Namji is located in Solo Kumbu districts. Okay? S O L O K H U M B U Solokumbu districts. Okay. Now let me tell something about Pasupati Nagar. There is a Pasupati Namar, Nagar. I'm sorry. There is a Pasupati Nagar at number D. This Pasupati Nagar is also very famous for internal tourism in our country, Nepal. Pasupati Nagar is uh, settled and located in a very uh, famous districts of our country, Nepal, which is called Ilam. You know Ilam? There is a song under the name of Ilam. Ilam is a har chiyabari ramru te ghar hamru you know this guy this song you can find in the YouTubes if you like to hear this song you can type in your laptop and mobile and you can get enjoy with this song it's a very old song you know I like very much this song I'm very much impressed with the song and the local people of Ilam developed these kinds of songs in order to do in order to popularize the Ilam and Pasupati Nagar. Actually, the eastern parts and uh, people of eastern parts are very well educated in our country, Nepal. So they can provide us a very good service and hospitality there if we go to visit Pasupati Nagar. And uh, sometime your school, uh, your school may plan for um, visiting eastern part. Okay, your school may take you to the uh, Darjeeling, Kalimpong, Sikkim, uh, and Ilan. Yes, in the time of our tour and trip, we can have a look at Pasupati Nagar. Understood? And this Pasupati Nagar is also full with tea gardens and greeneries. So many types of 
uh, plants you can see over there. The dry fruits are found in Paspati Nagar, uh, coconut and nuts you can get easily over there. Okay, uh, this Paspati Nagar is located in Ilam. Understood? Now let me tell something about Fidim. Okay, number E there is Fidim. Fidim. As I know, I also heard Fidim so many times in my life. But I have not visited Fidim. But I have seen Fidim in social medias. So what I can say you is, Fidim is popular for internal tourism. And so many people of uh, Nepal can visit uh, Fidim and even external tourists also comes to Fidim, comes to visit Fidim. This Fidim is uh, located in Pastar districts. Okay, this Fidim. Namsi is located in Solokhumbu and Fidim number four. There is there is P H I D I M Fidim and this Fidim is located in P A C H T H A R Pastor P A N C H okay it's better to write Pastor P A N C H Pastor district understood uh similarly there is a f number uh, gorkhali temple yes where is the gorkhali temple located could you guess please students this gorkhali temple is named under the name of gorkhali soldiers and gorkhali soldiers are the soldiers of our country, Nepal. Gorkhali soldiers believe in Hinduism. This is because they used to form temple for their great devotion. And this Gorkhali temple is uh, made there in Gorkha district. Okay? It is uh, in the Gorkha district from where our king Prithivinam Saha developed the concept of Gorkhali force so that our Gorkhali force are very popular in the world for their great devotion, contribution, honesty and uh, victory. Understood now? Okay. Gurkhali temple, I write here five number where these places are. Okay. Now there is a G number. Chandani and Dudara. Chandani and Dudara is a breeze of Nepal. It looks so beautiful. It is a modern breeze. And our uh, Nisgat municipality also planning to settle signature bridge. The bridge that we have right now with Bakaya River will be changed in future. And there will be a signature bridge. And when the signature bridge will be settled in Nisgat, so many people comes to see and take selfie. Yes, this Chandani Dudora is also famous bridge. I have not visited this Chandani and Dudora bridge, but I have seen this bridge in Google and YouTube. You also can source this bridge in the laptop and mobile with the help of internet. Understood? Will you? Shall you? Okay. Now, number last, there is Sorga Dwari. Sorga Dwari. Wow. 
I have heard this name so many times in my life, but I have never visited Surgadari. But the students, as per our study and research, and it's as per our curiosity to know the place, uh, to study the specific place for our knowledge reference, I come to know Sargadwari is popular for religious specialization. So many Hindu people from India, Nepal go to visit Sargadwari. A time in their life. Nepalese people are attracted by this Sargadwari because of uh, because of having a wonderful looks and religious specialization. The Sorgadari place is also famous for internal tourist in Nepal. Okay, uh, this is the place which is located in Bhutan. Yes, Bhutan districts. Okay. I write here Fidim. Fidim, I already mentioned you, okay? Gorkhali Gur Temple, yes. G O R K H A L I. Gorkhali T E M P L E. Gorkhali Temple is located in Gorkha. G O R K H A. Gorkha, okay? This is the name of the place and this is the name of the districts that we need to write here as per the guideline of our lesson and chapter okay mm, then number d there is a chandani and dudora yes c h a n d a n s are you understood now now let me tell you about sargadari okay the sargadari yes w a S W A R Swar Ga D W A R I. The Swargadwari is located in Pyutan. P Y U T S A N Pyutan. Students, these are the places which are located in the different districts of our country, Nepal which is very famous and popular to visit for internal and external tourists. And these are the places which are very uh, suitable for celebrating holiday, spending our holiday and better destination for our trip and journey. Hey students, thank you very much for listening to me today. I will come and I will come to students. Thank you very much for listening and watching us. We will come to taking next lesson in the next session. Thank you for your good cooperation. Till that time. Bye bye and have a nice day.